Yo, what's going on and welcome back to some more Elden Ring. In the last one, we entered this peninsula area here and we traveled around a lot. We went into this earth boar cave, we killed the rune bear, we went over here, fought the, the demi-human queen, I think. It wasn't a boss, but at least it gave us the demi-human queen staff. I don't know if it was actually the demi-human queen, um, but we did that. Then we went down this way, and we fought Knight's Cavalry here. We just barely lost, and we can't find him anymore. Um, we grabbed the steel that was down here, which gave us the map. We need to go to this castle, I think, next. And we also came up here and solved a puzzle with some invisible turtles in Ortis's Rise. Um, so, if you want to see where to find the turtles, you can go watch that one. It will let you in which will give you a memory stone. I think that's all we got from that, which I mean is valuable because I don't think there's any way to increase your incantation slots without the memory stones. But anyways, we ended up here where there's something weird going on. We're going to check it out first before we go do anything else. Seems like it could be a boss battle, kind of like the Everjails. We can summon people. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, also was not expecting that to be a throwable. Gravity stone fan. It's one of these. Use FP to emit fan-shaped gravitational shockwave. Okay. Oh, we gotta start murdering. Yep, that's kind of what I thought was gonna happen if we approach that. Let's try and get to this guy. I don't know who this guy is. Okay. Yo, where are my dudes at, though? They are being horribly wor worthless at the moment. Thank you. Yo, there's a guy right behind you. Like, can we use some common sense, please? Uh-oh. I don't know what that pit does, but I'm a little bit afraid of it. Okay, big guy's only one left. Okay, we need to get out of here and heal. He punches? Whoa! Cool spell. Not help you very much, however. Okay. What was the point of this, though? Can't pick up whatever that is. Not sure what the heck this was all about. Beside the crater pocket... Po pocked? Pocked Glade? It is beside whatever that is. Yes, you are correct. However, what is the significance of that? We fought all of them. Came out victorious. What's going on down here? This area seems special. We're going to go up here first, though. Come, Torrent. So, while we're up here, we might as well go to the statue that I talked about like two episodes ago. I thought I saw something. I did not. There's also a chair over there. Is 
Another key. I gave both. Both bird items. Another one of these guys. Guide the gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. This time it does not seem like an actual option to follow where he's pointing. Can we turn them? It seems like the kind of puzzle where you're supposed to turn them all to face a specific direction. Maybe we'll look over this cliffside here. Because the other one we found was all the way up here. And he's looking the exact opposite direction, pretty much. So if we look over the cliff, will we see the beam? No, but I want to go down there anyways. That's not how you do that. So we'll go down and around there. Um, and assuming we don't find anything special down there that takes us into like another dungeon, we'll be going back to deal with that ballista. Some of these dragonflies. This wall seems suspicious. A door. Of course, there's a door. Which must be what that thing that statue was pointing to. Don't fall off. Okay, that doesn't seem makeable. Maybe if it is, but I'm not gonna try. There's no purpose to making that, so. Anything under this? No. Can't even fit. Alright, let's try this door. Does it tell us anything? No. Surprisingly, this door was openable. Impaler's Catacombs. Oh, joy. Are we gonna do this area? Yeah, I guess so. I said as long as there wasn't a distraction down here, we'd be going back to something else. But there is a distraction down here. Hello, good sir. That does remind me, in that fringe folk area, there was one more... Uh, zone that we did not complete, which was the imp zone. Because we couldn't get past the... Grave Violet. We couldn't get past the flamethrower. Well, we kind of could, but there was an imp on the other side of it that insta-killed us when we did. Alright, goodbye, sir. Okay, so jumping down there does not appear it will be an option. Summoning fool indicates boss coming. But... I don't think there's going to be a boss anytime soon, because this looks like a shortcut. That we will have to get by going to the other side first. And we'll summon people here to get to the boss faster. Let's be careful. This is going to be full of traps. Yeah, I'm not walking up. That's asking for trouble. You're baiting. I still think he's baiting, but he doesn't appear to do anything besides range attacks. To 
just corner camp them. How many arrows do we have? 70. Oh, they actually do pretty good damage. I wonder if we could use the arrows to somehow bait out that other imp that I was just talking about. Like in that flamethrower area, I wonder if we could maybe like a firebomb or something with the cracked pots. So we need to be able to get him out of there because we could have made it if we could get there. So there, there's an idea for us to maybe try in the future, like an AoE thing, or if we can see him with an arrow, but I swear we couldn't see him with the arrow. What is this? Brave Globe Wart. I think we had one of those already. Or Glove Wart? I don't know, the English language is, just doesn't make any sense anyways, so. I scared myself by stepping on a skeleton. This should be a side path. Anything that goes to the right should lead to the boss, because that's where the shortcut leads. I almost just turned my back while blocking to this guy. Not a good strategy if you're curious. More of this stuff. I still haven't found any illusory walls in this game, and I just refuse to believe that there are none. Alright, so this way. Doesn't look good. I got so scared that I ran off immediately. I was like, yeah, I don't know what that noise is. Oh. Oh! I don't know where I'm going. There. Okay, luckily it didn't kill you in one hit. So where the heck am I supposed to go is the problem. It just keeps smashing you into the ceiling. I don't see where to go. Am I missing something? Are we trapped now? Like, can I never get out until I die? Are we supposed to go under? The problem is, is, I can't tell if there's an illusory wall somewhere, because I'd have to hit them all, right, while getting smashed. <laughs> I want to try under. Is this the only path to go? Sure seems like it's the only path. Hmm. This doesn't make any sense at the moment. Oh, we could shoot him with bow. That's a, There's an idea. Shoot it with the bow. I mean, it should be that way, but... That's... I think we need to be on the next level. Is there a safe spot somewhere that I'm missing? Okay, well, let's start shooting then. Nothing. 
None of those worked. I mean, it could be one of the ones with indents in them, but that doesn't make that much sense. The other one could be the white torch over there. But how... Maybe I have to interact with the torch? How would I ever do that? Not, not that. I'm trying to look under it. Do we try and go under it? It's the only thing I can think of. I'm, I'm out of ideas besides under it. But like, will it flatten us down there too? I mean, we're just gonna try it. I got no other ideas. Okay, this was correct. I really thought they were... For a second there, I was thinking they were gonna have me try and find an illusory wall. While I'm getting smashed against the ceiling, which is just really, really mean. I don't like this room, but... Why are you walking so slowly? Oh, here we go. Okay, you don't seem like very formidable foes. But you might be endlessly respawning, which would make you slightly more formidable. Three hits to bleed. Except for that guy for some reason. Prattle, Pate, please help. Are you weak to fire? It kind of seems like it. It kind of seems like you were weak to fire. Uh oh. Not good. Not good at all. Very bad, actually. Okay, more dudes. I think we just gotta... We just gotta move. We can't... Stay still. Um, just up the ladder. I, I don't have time to look at everything. Are they gonna follow? Okay, yes, they are following. Can they climb ladders? Probably not, would be my guess. No. Okay, well, we can't go back to check then. I s there might have been something in that corner. I couldn't really tell. But if we get the shortcut... Should open up something somewhere? Somewhere, a heavy door has opened. I mean, I think I know where the door is, but, like, we should be on the other side of it. I don't have any healing is the problem. So any damage, like, surprise damage that I take is permanent at the moment. Was to jump out of this? Are you serial? Oh, it takes me back into that room. Okay. So, you think they left? I think maybe they left for long enough for me to peek my head in. Oh no, they did not. 
Wait, they're all going home. Kind of. Not particulate. Not not correct. Okay. I'm... The torch makes me think that there could be something here. Just avoid grabs at all costs. Yeah, I'm out of here. This is, a, this is not worth it. Maybe there's an invisible wall somewhere down there. Uh, I don't... Someone's gonna have to tell me about it. <laughs> that is just a mess. Alright, alright. Well, let's go jump out that window. We got no healing, so we can't really go to the boss right away. Okay, this door is open. The boss is right down there. And we'll hopefully be able to summon stuff once we're actually in the boss. But we should go back to the start, get our FP and our healing back. And we can maybe just run past the few imps that are in our way. What's this place called? Impaler's Catacombs. Okay, so we're expecting to find someone called the Impaler. Not really what you want to hear, but... Not enough to spend our stuff. But the door's right there. We can't just leave, go spend our stuff. Jellyfish? At nighttime, jellyfish come here? I want to kill a jellyfish. So it makes the jellyfish hostile, and then all other jellyfish also hostile. They really don't have, like, a drop or something? I'd expect the jellyfish to have a special drop. Okay, let's, let's teleport to the merchant, dude. Still no- oh, he is back. Okay, so I don't know what causes him to be here or not be here, but we will fight him momentarily. Trade again. What am I going to buy? Probably just lots and lots of arrows. Don't quite have enough for that. I guess I'll buy the cracked pot, because you just get the cracked pots back infinitely, so you might as well buy everyone that you can in the game. So we cannot summon. Do we use torrent again? Seemed like the best strategy. All right, Knights Cavalry. Round two, punk. I wonder, can I use a bow while on horseback? How would I? Okay, you absolutely can't. However, it's a little bit difficult. This is a, a lot more difficult than I made it out to be a second ago, actually. I didn't think it'd be so easy to miss. Alright, you just... You are not good at aiming at all. We have lots of arrows. We just bought like 70 arrows, so... We're gonna test this out a little bit. Could you aim? Alright, disappointment is immense. So... Bow doesn't seem like it. It's way too hard to hit him. I missed. Freaking katana on horseback is so bad. It's impossible to aim this thing. 
Maybe? Okay, okay, okay. He's here at night. His name is Knight's Cavalry. Not not like a, a knight, but like nighttime. So he's here at nighttime. Keep that in mind. Okay, that was some good damage, and we took very little in return. Oh, I didn't mean to get off. Whoops. Ow. Okay, we need a heal. I feel like I'm hunting him. Okay, if we if we go fast. Okay, that didn't work. It worked a lot better two seconds ago. Turns out he does different moves sometimes. Okay, his horse is about to go down. I diverted because I didn't know what that move was going to do. That was scary. Okay, his horse is like two hits. Okay, we should get off now. Oh! I made a mistake. I didn't realize I still had my boat. That might have been a huge throw. Oh, that does damage. I didn't know if it did damage or not. I was like, it's you get a lot of moves in Dark Souls, you just don't know if they deal damage. It could have just been a knockback without damage to get you away while he summons his thing. It could have, um,. What time is it right now? Till nightfall. It could have been a lot of stuff. Um, it turns out it does deal damage. I was hoping to interrupt him while he was doing it. Okay, yeah, nighttime is when he's here. We were close. We did the right stuff. We got off the horse when we needed to. Um, we want our shield for sure. Let's just do it better this time. Okay, I didn't mean to get off. I clicked the thumbstick on accident. But it ended up working fine. So we gotta be evasive, get his horse low. And then just do it again. We don't need to fight him while he's on the ground that much. That way we only have to learn his moves in the horse form. And we don't have to learn the ground moves. But I, his the ground moves didn't seem that bad. I think if we just dodge well, and maybe have a little bit more healing for that part. Okay, his horse is about to go down. <laughs> I was like, I can't get it. Okay, that was a big swing. Yeah, if I just go, if I go for the heal, he just goes for his horse, which is fair.
But I think we did enough damage to be happy. Oh, come on. Ow. We can't let Torrent die, though. That could cause some problems, because resummoning Torrent in the middle of the fight is not all that simple. Well, we gotta go through, like, a small menu to do it. Oh, I thought he was gonna sit around for a little longer. Enemy fell. Defeated the Knight's Cavalry. Got Barricade Shield. Oh, and the Knight Rider Flail. I was like, I was really expecting to get the Flail, honestly. So we'll figure out what Barricade Shield does. We gotta go over to the Grace to figure that out. Well, I guess we maybe could have just read its description. So, now we got this. Oh, we, can, we can't even figure out what it does from here. My bad. Can we level up, by the way? We'd have to use a few rune items, but we probably have a bajillion of those. Uh, what was I doing? Here, where are the Ashes of War? Oh, so we didn't... I mean, this one's the one we already have, right? Grants no affinity, but imparts the following skill. Barricade shield skill. Need hard? Night night hard? Focus your energy, temporarily hardening it to deflect greater blows. Usable on all shields. But is that does it cost me anything to put that on my shield? I just feel like that sounds way better than being able to use my katana's ability. Like is this gonna make it worse in any way? I don't think so. Can we remove these if we don't like them? I don't know if we can remove them. But also, I'm not using my katana skill at all. Oh, you can just undo it. Yeah. Great. Okay, we're gonna test it real quick. I'm still so bad about... Uh... Switching from two hand to one hand. I feel like even here, this... As long as I don't hit the horse... I'm not risking that. I'm gonna hit the, the horse. Again. See, we have so many of these. If I just sell two of them, then we have enough for a level. Okay, so we did fight Knight's Cavalry. And we're going to go fight that other boss as well. We still going for 20 intelligence, or should I go, or, not 20 intelligence, 20 endurance, or should I go for 12 intelligence for the magic buff to my weapon? That seems like a prudent strategy. Try and get that magic buff, but we'll need one more before we can even go back and go get it. So, let's go back down into here. And I think we just run for it. Go up to these guys. We'll just run for it. Okay, I didn't really expect you to hit me, but... Can you come in here? I guess it doesn't really matter.
Bird Tree Burial Watchdog. Oh! I wasn't expecting that either. Oh, oh. I didn't expect it to be full of little dudes. I have increased poise. Okay, increased poise doesn't help you if you're dead. Okay, I'm dead. I did not expect that jumping attack to track as well as it did. I just kind of tried to make a run for it. Didn't work. Well, we used up the blessing. Not a big deal. We can just go get another one. I don't think it's going to be that valuable here anyways. Mostly because I just don't have that much poise. I should have bought arrows with the last few things that we had. Try and kill. Oh my gosh, they're so fast. It's actually annoying how fast they are. I just I can't escape. There's too many of them. Even with my guys helping. Materials here. Oh. Okay. Oh, we're both almost gone, but at least we've almost dealt with all the mini dudes. Okay, hello. This is not going well. He's just... He catches me by surprise every time. He's so weird. Takes a lot of damage, though. Okay, wasn't expecting that for, out of you. Uh, oh, I thought those guys were coming back. Oh, jeez. He's such a weird boss. This is enough damage to kill him. As long as we just keep avoiding. And his stamina. Unfortunately, we don't have a status ailment on our arrows. This guy is actually horrifying, by the way. Just the fact that he has, like, no animation makes it worse. He's, like, so robotic. That's not even more damage. All right, not worth it. This is this is how we're doing this boss. I apologize, but no, <laughs> he cut the corner on me. What a freaking cheater! Please, we're done. It's over. You suck. It didn't say, oh, demi-human ashes. I was going to say, it didn't say, uh, enemy felled. Send help. It's not over yet. Okay. So we've taken down two bosses this episode already. 
Ah, that one we cheesed pretty hard, but... I mean, it was a good strategy against him, right? Because his... I, did, I didn't want to have to figure out how to dodge those moves. And he apparently only does that move while you're at range, so... I'll take it. So, two bosses down. Knight's Cavalry and then Erd Tree, Demi, something Defender, something like that. So, what's next, then? That guy was worth not very much. But I want to try those ashes. You think they'll be better than the dudes we currently have? And what does this mean that when it puts them on different levels? Is it like tiers? Like, I don't get it. It sometimes is putting items on different levels. And this one costs more FP. It almost takes our entire FP bar to cast this. We'll try it. I don't know if that actually will equate to it being better or not. But... Okay, so Impaler's Catacombs done. Now we gotta go deal with that stupid ballista, huh? Back to full health, yeah. Um, should I just buy a lot of arrows here? I'm gonna dip my head back into here real quick. So we can cast this spirit thing. See what that's like, if it's any good. Five of them. See, this is the type of squad we need uh, to be able to heal. I don't have enough FP to cast my barricade shield. That's okay. Okay, go my squad. is already dead. I mean, it's cool that there's a lot of them. But they don't seem all that effective. It seemed like I did just about all the killing there. But let's bring them to more enemies. They don't deal a lot of damage either. Uh, they just ran away while we were about to fight this guy. feel like I've been abandoned. You're gonna get killed. That random random guy was almost backed up into the sword attack to get killed. Did not dodge that. Alright. Fair enough. You just keep running, huh? He only took out one of them with that blow. Quickly.
I mean, to be fair, they are still alive. And we can just swarm people. Broken. Wait, he dropped a smithing stone? They can do that? I'm starting to think that item discovery might be better than I thought. It's the first time we've seen that, though. Alright. So we kind of got an idea of what they do. I think I still like the two dudes better. Um, but they're alright. They're not the worst. I think the jellyfish is... Probably the least useful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> we have a level. Let's go into intelligence. We don't have enough to buy the spell though. So no reason to worry about that quite yet. We might as well just buy some arrows. Trade again. And now we need to figure out how the heck to deal with that ballista, which is probably going to be just sprint at it and hope. Oh, we don't have the box with the down arrow anymore. We haven't changed any of our gear. It's either because our shield now has an ability or because it's not nighttime. I don't know which. Maybe we'll figure out at some point. Now that... Now that I've been paying attention to it. Alright. We just sprint at him? I think. Full speed ahead, Torrent. Or we take this side path. Seems pretty smart. Hey, goats. What is this? It's a dung beetle. He must die. What? Was it a trick? Or did I actually miss? Because I don't feel like I missed. Oh, he's a teleporter. Alright. There. You really gotta pay attention. Right when he's teleporting is the best time to actually be able to see it. It's just going in a triangle. Hold up. Am I being bamboozled? Poison mist. Okay, I don't know if I was being bamboozled or not, but my solution was to just shoot him. I think he just became untargetable immediately when you got close enough. Okay, where are we now? <laughs> By the way, we're back to the wall. Anything over here? Oh, Jesus. Now the ballista's mad. I hate that it unlocks when you backstab someone. Like, I don't know why it's designed like that. Almost always when I backstab someone, if they're not dead, I would like to continue to be locked onto them. Okay, what do we got going for us? What the? It's a freaking bear. I killed the rune bear. Oh, you bleed very easily. That is highly unfortunate for you. Hefty beast bone. So this might be a spot on the map to mark. 
We're currently in combat, though. We must be in combat with the Ballista, because I can't imagine what else we could possibly be in combat with. Guess I won't be marking the location of the bear then, because I can't de aggro the ballista. There's another bear though. Okay, there's just bears around here. I thought it would be like a a lone bear. What else was that? We sneak up on the bear? It is shooting at us, I think. We de aggroed, but since there's multiple bears, I don't think we care about marking the location. Never mind, we did not de aggro. Okay, have we gotten around the ballista's line of sight yet? Oh, well, can't look at the map to kind of give me an idea. I do not know. That might mean that something scary is over here, though, if they're forcing you this direction, kind of. It's still shooting at us. But, like, they kind of forced us over here, so there could be something spooky that we're going to be fighting. Wowzers. That is a big arrow. So you're the respawning dudes, huh? Oh, there's a poison swamp. Alright. I apologize for even considering entering this area. Oh, they're fighting something else too? Or they're just accidentally hitting some of these guys? Those guys throw up. Joyful. There's an item up there. I want it. Just a room. Okay. We gotta get out of here, Torrent. This is not a good spot to be. Gotta turn around. Be in the air. I thought that was the ballista kind. Oh! That was quite the shot, huh? You took out a torrent in a single hit? We need to get behind this thing. Holy Jesus. Okay. We are not behind the ballista, in case you were wondering. What the heck is a sanctuary stone? There's a tree up there. Sanctuary stone. Alright, we got this. Amits a voice, please help. Poison mist. Oh, wait. I don't have uh, the shield one anymore. So once you've used it, you have to take it off again if you want to put it on something else. Okay, we finally de aggroed the thing. Maybe use this crossbow at some point. I can't remember where we found it, but I'm not seeing the sanctuary stone. I don't know where it is.
I don't know. I must have just missed it, but it's probably just a crafting item or something. There's another one. Oh, you're shooting arrows. That's the problem. There's angry jellyfish over there. So, I want to go to that tree. Use cover. Alright. Didn't work at all. Turns out he's a pretty good shot. I thought I'd be fast enough with Torrent. But apparently not quite. Hey goats. You live here. You live like this? Okay, we've already been up there. Maybe go to that corner as well? Where's the tree? Is it lower? Yeah, it's right there. I need him to fire another arrow first. Golden seed, totally worth it. Just pick stuff up as we go. Nothing here. Okay, is there anything else to look at before we figure out how the heck we're gonna fight this dude? Whoa, Torrent, you weren't supposed to do that, but it worked out. So now we know why this thing is so omnidirectional. Because it's a dude with a giant bow. I was really thinking that if we got close enough, he would stop shooting. Are you going to shoot again, or what's the plan here? How much health do you have? I feel like he doesn't have a lot of health. Yeah, he's almost dead. drop anything what a jerk what's that up there that's like a completely different land I think I want to investigate these swords while we have a chance don't know if that guy's gonna respawn he didn't seem strong enough to warrant not respawning especially since he was only worth a thousand runes Careful now. The random turtle. Hello there, turtle. I will not murder you today. The Siege of Castle Morn. A lone hero fights for his vengeance only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. I don't know what the point of these is. Also, where did those runes come from? Alright, well, let's get to the castle. That might be the end of this one. What am I getting runes from? Are things falling off cliffs, or what's going on here? 
See, where is... Oh, that's... That's the big castle all the way over there. I think. We still haven't made it to the base of any of these trees yet. Seems like there might be a tree here that we could get to. Might be the first tree we get to. We want to check out that. We probably want to go over here. There's probably a dungeon here. Maybe check out that too. We got lots of stuff. This pool. But we're at the castle, so let's see if we can get a grace here. Any items hiding? Ooh, is that a no respawn zone? Or not no respawn, but you know, no teleport? I can still teleport at the moment, it just can't be on horseback. We'll go in there in just a second. First, touch the grace. Second, rest at the grace, see if that guy respawns. See if this guy's alive. Not alive. Okay, check outside. Doesn't appear to have respawned. Great news. And this says go further into the castle. Gotcha. What about this room? What's the point of this room? Well, it seems like a pretty decent stopping spot, if you ask me. We made it to this castle down here. Now we got two castles that we gotta go through. Oh, this is not how you teleport. What do we want to buy? Probably don't even need to spend our souls right now, our runes right now. So I think we're good. I guess maybe there might be areas that you can jump to if you have Torrent, so that's why they took Torrent away from you while you're in here. Anyways, what was that called? Impaler's Catacombs, and then we fought Knight's Cavalry over here. Oh, we should check out the Knight's Cavalry weapon. See, this seems to be organized by type of weapon. This is a flail, whereas this is a hammer. Knight Rider Flail. Requires 24 dex. Is it a dex weapon? It's very light, too, actually. Maybe I should try a flail. They've never really had flails in Dark Souls. Oh, so it will put us at heavy load, so we could maybe unequip the torch. They both require lots of decks. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, what, what if we... Oh, that's not how you do that. We two-hand you. Got an interesting moveset for sure. What about this one? How many flails does it have? Three? Works very similar to the other one. I don't I wanna know what its range is. If its range is bad, it kinda looks like the range is bad, but at the same time maybe that's just visual effects. Can you just hold this forever? It does keep burning your FP. Do this. Alright. 
further requirements? Eight more decks to be able to do that? Oh, we want to go buy the spell. Gave me some time to think of what we were supposed to be doing with our... No, not this one. Where was it? Here. The Ruined Cellar. We haven't seen these giant walking turtle bell things. Was that in the gameplay trailer? I don't remember. Hello? There you are. Maya, shall we commence? Look, I can actually use sorceries now. It's crazy. We could get glidstone pebble. And this thing. So that's going to cost us 4,000 total. Can we cast this? We can. That's pretty decent. Cost another 3,000 though. Can't cast that. Can't cast that. I think we get Pebble. We try and get both this and this. That would mean we need 6,000. We have a lot of these items. Each of these gives 200. So we have 10,000 worth of just those. These give 400. I don't know how much the big ones are worth. If this is four, this is probably eight. I would make this maybe 2,000. Pop one of these. 1,200, not what I was expecting. What does that make this? 1,600, so it just goes up by 400 every single time? No, that's not even right because the first one goes up by 200, but then it seems like it goes up by 400. So this should be 800. Yeah. Okay, so we still need another 2,200. Which means we just pop um, five of these. And then one of the little ones. I always, like, don't use these items anyways. So now I've just gotten into the habit of trying to use them sometimes for no real good reason. Like, getting these stars is probably not that worth it, but... Oh wait, you have something to say? Our art draws upon the powers embedded in Glimstone. But what is the nature of such power? Glimstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality, while Glimstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars. It should not be forgotten that Glimstone's sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. A fact lost on most sorcerers these days. Also, I was very uh, very distracted by the fact that she doesn't have shoes on. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a place you want to be without shoes on, just saying. Did you see the guy who was out here? Like, jeez. Alright, let's equip all that stuff. And then I guess that'll be it. Um, uh, memorize spells. We can't actually use that one, so let's. What do we want first? Probably this. This requires twenty-five. We won't be able to use our spirits if we cast 
a single weapon enchantment. So maybe we do need more FP. And then I probably want it in my offhand. It has a sorcery scaling stat. So let's just try the things. This, okay, that uses that. So don't worry about that. Yeah, here we go. I wonder how much this buffs our damage. We'll test it in the next one. Looks pretty cool. Probably doesn't do any damage. As long as this buff lasts. So something that I am noticing though, the fact that your HUD disappears means you can't immediately change spells. Like if my HUD is gone and I press up to change a spell, it just brings up the HUD. It does not change the spell. So if I want to change the spell, I have to hit it twice, which is can be a little bit weird in combat. I don't know if that's a setting. I feel like that was a setting in the past. Camera auto wall recover. HUD on auto. I mean, I kind of like it on auto. If it starts to bother us, then we could change it to on. The weapon buff lasts quite a while, huh? doesn't appear anywhere I don't think though what's our current AR 251 now it's 163 it's uh, really giving us like 88 um 88 AR on that that's a lot well, all right then Might consider actually doing that sometimes. Uh, should we visit the round table hold? I'm thinking we should, just because I think this might be the last one I record for today, so I don't forget that we need to go get another blessing. Stuff like that. Maybe some stuff will have changed. Oh, okay. That's probably why I thought the guy wasn't here, because he phases into reality. We don't have any books for you, right? Ah, well then. I assume maybe we should buy a certain amount of stuff from him. That's also been a thing in in past Soul games, where if you buy a certain amount of things, then people say stuff to you, like the lady, uh, the sorcerer lady. She literally sure to didn't want to talk to us until gentleman. we had bought a few things from her. So you have to like either spend a certain amount of souls is usually the requirement. Um, but it could be like either buy specific things, buy a certain number of things. It could be any of those. How do we upgrade the well, staff, I'll by the way? Your arms, then. It's just normal smithing stones. And it would make the scaling better pretty much what you want which would probably mean our AR would go up even more I kind of want to test that real quick but I can't do it here actually I want to know if that thing has a scaling that spell has a scaling because none of them say what their scaling is But we could test it right now by upgrading the staff and then casting it again. But I mean, the staff would also just be better. I think it probably scales because 88 seems like a really odd number to be your flat increase, right? Your flat increase number is probably going to be something like 60. That's what it was in the past, at least. I am pleased. Would you like me to... Yeah, give me give me the blessing again, please. 
I still have gotten very little use out of the blessing. I feel like I use it when I'm fighting a boss for the first time, and then I die in like you 15 are, seconds. Then good day to you. And then I question why I ever used it. But like, it's not worth it for me to come back here, go through this animation every single time I'm about to fight a boss. I'm gonna talk to her I again. Would you like the blessing? Is Would you like now? Like I said, we still haven't made any actual progress. I don't think so. She probably won't have anything new to say. But if we finish up this new castle that we've entered, maybe she'll have something to say. You are so. Then good day to you. And with this new magic buff, since we can't use spirits in the that ever jail. Maybe the magic buff will be good enough for us to take that guy on. So I wanted to go to the other part of this real quick. But I doubt anyone will have anything to say to me. Although, I mean, we don't have any stuff, any money. Still can't go that way. They didn't get new stuff. For some reason, I thought, I thought there was more stuff here. Is this a 100% block shield? It is. I mean, I like the shield that we have more. Um, it's probably about equal to this one. But our shield looks cooler, and that's what really counts. We might consider buying this now that we can actually cast a spell. Does our shield weigh more? It weighs way more. Okay, so it's probably inferior just because of that. It probably blocks other stuff better. And it probably has a better guard boost, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's worth it. Sometimes if you have too much weight in a shield... It's not doing you any favors. We've spoken long enough. Wait, can you break his table? No. I would have found it really funny if you could. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Um We got a weapon buff now. Maybe considering using those flails, but I'd have to test the range a little bit before I actually chose to use one of them. It is a dex weapon, and I'd have to see if I like the moveset and stuff. I never really looked up here before. Um, but yeah, we might consider changing it up. It's not that I really like the katana, it's that the katana has been the favorite thing I've found so far, and it's the only thing we've upgraded as of yet. Plus, we need to find more smithing stones. It does seem like other people can drop smithing stones, like random enemies can drop smithing stones, but it seems incredibly rare. So we've seen it happen a single time as far as I'm aware of. But anyways, that's going to do it for this one. We'll probably be going to that peninsula castle next time. Got two bosses down in this one. Hopefully you enjoyed all that, and we will see you next time.